Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another Rumble. It's going to be a great one here. It's nothing but TV characters. So, um, and they're all from different places. There's one, uh, there is one that has a spinoff um, of another show. But for the most part, they're all from different places. And that shows, even though it's a spinoff, it's it's show on its own. So it does count. And uh, everyone's basically, uh, it can range from adult cartoons to dramas to comedies. And the list goes on and on. So here we're going to start off with at number one. And it is Sheriff Hopper. From Stranger Things. I actually, uh, today I watched the whole season. Well, at the time, uh, within two days, I've watched the whole season. Of uh, part one of season four, I think it is. And uh, it's really good. It's just really good television. If I watch that many episodes, I mean, it's definitely good. And Hopper's getting a little mad at our audience. Uh, I'm going to have to cut him off there a little bit. And so we're starting off with Hopper. Uh, and yeah, we got Netflix shows on here as well. So we got a little bit of everyone. And who will Hopper be going up against? And it is Saul Goodman from Better Call Saul. Jimmy McGill. <laughs> Look at him. He's just acting like Jimmy McGill for sure. Uh, Saul is in the house. And I love the entrance. I love it. I absolutely love it. It's just so arrogant. It's unreal. And uh, this guy's actually a Breaking Bad character as well. And I, look at him laughing. That was hilarious. Um, I should have played that whole entrance, but I didn't. And everyone starts off with three finishers. Um, uh, and there's a re... Oh, there goes Saul already. Huh. Kind of disappointing there. But everyone starts off with three finishers in uh, 30 seconds on entrances because um, and the reason why is because otherwise it would take hours to well an, a whole full hour or hour and a half to do this and Billy the Butcher is number three from the boys uh, so Billy the Butcher here the boys is coming back on by the way I don't know by, by the time you see this it might be back on because I'm doing these ahead of time um but you got Billy the Butcher versus uh, uh, Sheriff Hopper. And Rick Grimes is number four. Rick Grimes at number four. Rick Grimes from The Walking Dead, of course. Um, and look at Billy versus Rick Grimes here. And Eric Cartman is number five from South Park. I'm not a fan of all these shows. Uh, just to let you all know, I, I this list was a little bit biased. Um, but there's a couple shows that I... Um, either don't watch a lot of or uh, never have really gave them a shot. South Park, I've only seen like three episodes. I'm not a big South Park fan. Uh, I don't hate it, but it's just not. I've always was an Eric Andre's number six uh, from the Eric Andre show. Which, I, like I said, so far, looking at all these, um, I've seen all of them, all these shows at least once. Not as big on, like I said, I, I haven't, I've watched only a couple episodes of South Park, and I've seen clips of Eric Andre's show. Um, and Eric Andre eliminates Billy the Butcher, but as for Walking Dead, Stranger Things, Better Call Saul, and uh, The Boys, I watched those. Bob Ross is here, his PBS show. 
Man, that's another show I really don't watch either because I'm just, but it's just not my cup of tea. I have nothing against Bob Ross or anything. He's a legend. I just never watched. I've, I've seen him before, obviously. Everyone has. But, oh, man, and Hopper has been eliminated. Hopper eliminated here by Eric Andre with a second elimination. And Mr. T is number eight. I pity the fool. And I've never, I don't think I've ever seen the A-team. So this is one that I just came across and I was like, we need another television character. There you go. And that's how I was for a couple of these. I wasn't even looking for Mr. T. I just came across him and I didn't want to look for more people. So if you like, if you look up a hashtag, and there goes Eric Andre. If you look up a hashtag and you see someone in the hashtag that doesn't belong, but they still fit the rumble, you go for it. Plain and simple. And Charlie Kelly at number nine. From It's Sunny in Philadelphia. Watched every episode of that. <laughs> seen every episode of Walking Dead. Seen every episode of The Boys. Every episode of Better Call Saul. Um, so. Look at Eric Cartman. And number 10 is Jimmy McNulty. And this is a new character. We've never had him on here from The Wire. He is, we've had Wire characters on here, but we have never had Jimmy McNulty. Uh, McNulty is um, the main cop in The Wire. There's really, I guess he would be the name, main actor the show, but a lot of people kind of share the same screen time, but McNulty, um, he's not the, he's not the most, well, he's definitely not by the book cop, uh, and he has his problems with, you know, um, he, I think he drinks a lot, and I think he, uh, I think he's, uh, seeing another woman while he was with his wife or something, I don't know, I, don't, I forget the whole I haven't seen The Wire. I've seen every episode of The Wire, too. Um, but he still, even though he doesn't go by the rule book, he's still, like, a, a good cop. He's not, like, a dirty cop like Vic Mackey from The Shield is. Um, but he, his, his methods are unorthodox. That's the perfect word for it. Um, and Dean Winchester is here. From Supernatural. And I haven't seen all of those because there's way too many. I've seen the first five seasons, and I never watched it after that because I was told season five was the best season. And <laughs> it's just too many episodes. And Gordon Ramsay's number 12. Maybe I'll pick it back up. It just went on it 23 episodes a season, and it had like 16 seasons, maybe even more. I don't know exactly the amount. But it's off the air now. But it was one of the longest-running shows. And very successful show, too. And there goes Jimmy McNulty. So Jimmy McNulty eliminated. Look at Dean Winchester, man. And Mr. T stops from getting eliminated. And Thomas Shelby's number 13 from Peaky Blinders, a Netflix show. Um, this, I, I have actually never, I've only seen like five episodes. And it's pretty good, but I just never picked it back up. And I probably need to. Um, I like the main actor in it. He's really good. But, it's a good show. I just, I think I was real busy at the time. I think I was, uh, and Gordon Ramsay, I didn't even know it was Gordon Ramsay, but he's been eliminated um, from Hell's Kitchen, which I've seen a lot of that, too. And look at Dean Winchester, man. Eric Cartman just got tossed out. And Homer at 14. They're getting tossed out quick. And Mr. T has been eliminated. And Peter Griffin's number 15.
Oh, man, Peter Griffin versus Homer. Let's go. And I, at one point in my life, I saw every episode of Family Guy. But uh, once I got into, once I got into my adult years, I stopped watching it for a while, and then I just never got back to it. It's not that I didn't want to see it, or I didn't, I, well, I didn't enjoy it as much as I used to. I quit after a while. I, I think I watched the episode when Brian died, or whatever, and then I watched the next week after that. And when they, I guess when they brought him back, and um, after that I quit. I may pick it back up, but I don't know where I left off. I've seen, like, the first 12 seasons, I think, all the way through. And look at Thomas Shelby here. And Homer Simpson has been eliminated. And Sal is number 17 from Practical Jokers. Which I actually, I do like that show, but I, I've never really, I've never watched an episode all the way through, but I've watched a lot of clips of pra Impractical Jokers. And it's, it's a pretty funny show. It's pretty funny. Comedy is harder for me to like because I, I just have a, a, a unique, like a certain taste with comedy. Like Family Guy and Sonny with the... I like random stuff that sometimes doesn't, you know. Professor's number 18 from Money Heist. And Thomas Shelby has been eliminated. They are flying out of here. I don't know what's gotten into them. But. Yeah, when it comes to comedy, um, it just depends. I, I like random stuff. I like random humor. That's what I call it. Because Family Guy does a lot of it. Sonny does a lot of it. And Practical Jokers does it. Um, and uh, 4, 5, 6 got eliminated. And number 19 is Jon Snow from Game of Thrones. I've seen every episode of that too. And every episode of Money Heist as well. Because I love Money Heist. And I, The Professor is one of the best characters. So many good characters on that show. Um, so I I need to make a top twenty show list that I of my recommendations. The problem is most shows are not over, so it's hard to determine how good a show is until it's completely over. With. And Bender is twenty, and I am so excited to have this character on here. I have been waiting a lifetime for this, and we're finally getting him. From Futurama, Bender in the house. And I've seen the first few seasons of Futurama, but I never picked it back up either. It's pretty good. I don't find the show that funny. I think Bender's a little bit funny, and I think Dr. Zoiberg's pretty funny. But the rest of the show, I don't... Um, I never thought it was funny, but I thought it was entertaining to watch. It's just one of those shows that I could just turn my brain off and watch it. And it's, it's a fun show. Um, and Rick Sanchez at number 21. That's another show I need to pick back up. It's Rick and Morty. I think I've seen the first couple seasons. It's interesting as well. It's kind of in the same boat with Futurama. I think it's a little bit funnier than Futurama is. But, um, but it, it doesn't make me laugh as much as Family Guy or Sonny does. Where I just, you know, I like to laugh so hard I cry. <laughs> but that's hard for me to do. Like, like I said, I'm not good with comedy. And Al Bundy is 22, and I've never seen an episode of Married with Children. Children, so get mad. <laughs> I've never seen one. I've seen Modern Family with that same actor, but I've never seen. Married with children ever. Heard it's a great show though. And, uh, everyone talks about Al Bundy all the time, but I have no clue of anything about the character or anything. Never seen the show. And 
and Archer is number 23. And Archer, uh, I've seen, I think, the first season, and that's it. Uh, I really did like the show, but uh, I never got back to it either. I mean, there's so many, there's just so much to watch. I don't know where to start, you know. <laughs> but um, I don't know. That show is another one of those. I, I just don't find it that funny. It, it's just entertaining to watch. And Sal's been eliminated. And the Tiger King's 24. And I'm going to put him as a show because that show is one of the most popular shows on Netflix um, in 2020. And uh, everyone remembers it. Uh, it was talked about forever. It took forever for people to be quiet about it. So uh, even though it really only has about two seasons, uh, I still had to put it on here. I, I still haven't seen the second season. Archer hanging on, and he has been eliminated by Bender and the Mandalorians 25. Mando at 25 here. I'm telling you, they have been thrown out. I mean, I've never seen nothing like it. And usually, even if I do put these three finishers on, it's like 35 minutes to um, 35 minutes to uh, 45 minutes sometimes. And this is might be one of the fastest ones we've ever had. I've never seen them leave the ring like they're leaving. And it's I know I know I did put it on three finishers, but usually it, it's not this fast. Even with that, so I, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> but hey, I'm gonna still keep it. And it could you never know they could drag it out in the end. Jax Teller is 26 from Sons of Anarchy. I still have never seen that. I've seen two episodes of that show. I know a bunch of people that die on the show, so, like, I didn't really want to... I may give it a shot someday, but since I know a lot that a lot of characters that get killed off, um, I really don't see the point. Uh, but maybe I'll, maybe I'll pick it up. They just have these memes of of the show all the time, and I kind of remember some of the memes. And it's and one involves deaths, so like <laughs> I may pick it. I may pick it up. It's another show I need to watch. I've heard it's really good, and a lot of people like it. And I think it. Oh, there goes the Mandalorian. And look here. Oh, a double headbutt there. It looks like Michael Scott's here as well from The Office. And and funny story, um, me and my mom watched The Office before. And uh, I don't think my mom knew it was a comedy. And she was like, why is he acting the way he's acting? <laughs> she didn't know it was a comedy because it, you know, it doesn't have a laughing track in the background. And, you know. She's like, he's just such a moron. It's like, yeah, that's the point of the show, Mom. <laughs> like, she didn't even know it was a comedy until I told her. Because it doesn't, it like, it, she's used to the sitcoms and, you know, the, the ones with laughing tracks and stuff like that. Like, 
uh, Sanford and Son and uh, uh, everybody loves Raymond stuff like that and Goliath is here from Gargoyles I'm so excited to have him on here so excited it's been a long wait for this character. I need to watch that show. I've only seen a couple episodes of it, and it just looks awesome. It looks like an awesome show, so I, I really need to uh, try that one out. His wings are a little bit little. <laughs> he had to downgrade on the wings to get in the rumble, but, <laughs> like, yeah, he can't fly anymore. I, I, only a few feet. <laughs> And Curly is here at 29 from the Three Stooges. Three Stooges here. I had an option. I could have put Mo in. I could have put uh, Larry. But I came across Curly first. So I went ahead and put him in. And I used to watch the Three Stooges when I was a kid. Uh, I think one of them, they, uh, he, after a while, he wasn't on there. And I, do, I don't like the like the newer ones without the original people. Or maybe they added him later. I don't know. One of them wasn't one. There's, technically, there's four different Stooges, I think. If I'm not... If I'm, oh, man, a double team. Michael Scott and Al Bundy eliminate Goliath. And Walter White is number 30 for my favorite show of all time, Breaking Bad. So, like I said, I am... Totally shocked how fast this one has went by. Um, this is one of the fastest ones I've seen. I don't. I, I think maybe because there wasn't a lot of super heavyweights. Maybe. I mean, there's been a couple, and uh, really, it's just been Peter and Eric Carton. I think are only the only super heavyweights. So that's probably why there's not as you know many people. As you and like, it's not as slow as usual on eliminations and stuff. But who knows? At the end, it could slow down here. But they have been just flying out of the ring, coming in and flying out. Uh, usually, it's not like this. But. I think Peter's got a good shot here because he's going to be tough to get out. There goes Walter White. So. Walter White has been eliminated, and Peter Griffin definitely doing damage. And there goes Jax Teller. Honestly, I think Jax was the only one that had a shot at Peter. So. And, uh, oh, there goes Curly. So Curly has been eliminated. Al Bundy, man, he is someone you don't want to mess with. He always does good in these. He always does good. I, I don't know why he does so good in these. It's like, it'd be like the people that actually fight people with guns and knives would do a better job than Al Bundy. You know, but, oh, there, yeah, I said it too soon, so it's down to Michael Scott. <laughs> Look at, what? Michael Scott and Peter Griffin, and we all know who's going to win this. It's just, oh, Michael Scott's going to need a miracle. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Peter Griffin just keeps on kicking him in the head. Oh, my goodness. Poor Michael Scott. Oh, I forgot to put early edition in. Crap! 
Uh, I forgot to put my boy Gary Hobson in. Oh, man. I almost want to redo the thing because I forgot one of my favorite shows. And oh, my goodness. Could, oh, no. You're not going to win that way. You are definitely not going to win. There is no way. If he eliminates him this way, I'll just quit. Yeah, there's no way. I would literally put my left arm on the line for that. And it is over, Michael Scott. You, you tried, and you miserably failed. There's no way you're walking out of this. Oh, no way. Oh, no way he's, he's still in this. Oh, that he's just lucky. That's just pure luck. He should have been easily eliminated. Easily eliminated. That's just craziness. Okay, here we go again. Oh, no way. If he charges him, he could... Yeah, Michael Scott, there is no way you're lifting him. You can't even get the second leg off the ground. Oh, my goodness. He, the only way he can pull it off is with a charge or a finisher. Otherwise, he does not have it. And I don't, I don't think there's any way he could possibly win. Unless he reverses, which he didn't there, so. And, yeah, he's been stunned. Game over. Oh, my goodness. And yeah, that's the shortest one we've ever done at almost uh, about 27 minutes. That's the definitely the shortest one, and I think it's because we only had about two super heavyweights. That's the only reason why. I think that's why it took as long as it did. And Peter Griffin, you're not going to WrestleMania. It was easy for you. It was really easy to win that thing. You're not going. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. Definitely the shortest one we've had, uh, which is actually shocking, but I my theory is we had two super heavyweights, I think, in the whole time. I don't think anybody else was a super heavyweight. If I, I'm thinking about everyone in it, and there was a lot of people that were probably cruiserweights. So that's probably why it took... Uh, didn't take as long, but I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you all later.